Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to take a quick look at another security feature of using MetaMask with a hardware wallet. In this case we're going to be taking a look at Trezor because I only have a Trezor. So um, probably it's going to be a similar process for Ledger Nano. Maybe someday I will get one but for now I only have a Trezor so let's crack on. Okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you connected your Trezor and logged in using your pin code and then we'll just go up to metamask where you also have to be logged in and you can just click the circle in the top right go down to connect hardware wallet here you'll have the choice between ledger and trezor and we're going to click trezor you can click continue then it's going to ask if it can export your public key the Chrome extension. So I'm just going to click don't ask me again. And I'm always going to allow for this service. And then I will click export. Okay, and then we get the choice of select an account. Okay, so we're just going to click the first account and click unlock. And now we've got um, our Trezor One, which is our hardware wallet address. So now if we go to MetaMask, we've got this choice of Trezor One. So we can try to connect this. And now we've got a brand new Ethereum address to use for our hardware wallet. So what we're gonna do is try to transfer some tokens over to there. So I'm gonna go to my primary account I've got six Matic on here and I'm going to click send, transfer between my accounts and I'm going to click Trezor 1 and I'm going to choose an amount of two Matic and then click next, click confirm and we'll just wait for that to go through. Okay, so we've now received the uh, Matic token in here. Okay, so we've now received the Matic token in our hardware wallet. And now we're gonna try to swap 0 0.5 Matic for USDC. I'm gonna click swap, confirm swap. And I'm gonna up the gas price a little bit. And confirm and then we get brought to this page so we just need to give our signature so we, we can click don't ask me again and always allow for this service and then we just need to enter our pin okay and then we can click confirm then if we check our tracer we get this option for send zero 0.5 Matic to the address and we've got the option to cancel or confirm so we're just going to confirm that and we have some more details here transaction data and we're just going to confirm that and we also got some information about the gas fee as well so at 0. 00156 super low confirm then we can go back to our computer and then on the screen we will get this transaction submitted and now it's confirmed so it's a pretty simple process and if we check our assets we actually need to add usdc token manually so if we just google polygon scan we've got the explorer here Another thing I'd like to say is try to get in a habit of bookmarking websites because then you can just use the bookmarks on here and then you are less likely to get fished. So we go on here and we can search USDC. Now once we're on this page we can copy this contract address. Then we can go to add token, paste in the contract address, we should get USDC. Next and we should see that we've got our balance here. So add the token and now we've got it in our balance. 
So it's going to be a similar process when you're on the farms or doing any kind of other transaction on Polygon, Ethereum or any other smart contract based platform which is using MetaMask. So you can just sign your transactions just like we've done with this swap. So that's a really nice feature, especially when we're talking about key loggers. It's going to offer you a lot of protection regarding that. So I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you're into this kind of thing or anything to do with Polygon and DeFi, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow.